Have you ever wondered what the most expensive piece of art in the world is? Well, it's none other than the Salvador Mundi, an enigmatic masterpiece that holds the record for the costliest piece of art ever sold at auction. This captivating work of art was not crafted by just any artist but by the renowned Italian polymath, Leonardo da Vinci, a name that resonates through the corridors of art history for his unparalleled talent and creativity. The Salvador Mundi is a remarkable depiction of Christ, a divine representation steeped in intrigue and mystery. The title itself translates to Savior of the World, a fitting name for a painting that showcases Christ as the embodiment of salvation, holding an orb in his left hand, symbolizing the heavens. His right hand is raised in a gesture of benediction, blessing the viewer with an aura of tranquility. But what sets the Salvador Mundi apart from other artistic representations of Christ is its unique blend of spirituality and realism, a testament to Leonardo's mastery. The figure of Christ does not simply exist in the painting. He appears to live and breathe on the canvas, a divine presence that transcends the confines of art. And then there's the price tag. In the year 2017, the Salvador Mundi shattered all previous records when it was sold at auction for a staggering $450 million. Yes, you heard it right, $450 million. This astronomical price not only underscores the painting's artistic value but also its historic and cultural significance. So there you have it, the Salvador Mundi, a masterpiece from the hand of Leonardo da Vinci, an iconic representation of Christ, and the most expensive piece of art ever sold at auction. But this is just the beginning. The Salvador Mundi is not just a painting, it's a portal into a world of intrigue, mystery, and breathtaking artistry. Now that you know what the Salvador Mundi is, let's delve into its fascinating history. The Salvador Mundi has a rich and intriguing history. This tale begins in the twilight of the Renaissance when the legendary artist Leonardo da Vinci gave life to this enigmatic masterpiece. Created in the early 16th century, this work of art, like its creator, was destined for a life of mystery and intrigue. The painting depicts a serene Christ holding a transparent orb, symbolizing his dominion over the world, while the title, Salvador Mundi, translates to, Savior of the World. This artwork, in its initial years, graced the royal collections of England's Charles I and Charles II. But as the 17th century came to a close, the painting disappeared into the shadows of history lost to the world for nearly three centuries. Then, in the 20th century, the Salvador Mundi resurfaced, but it was no longer the same. Time had taken its toll, and the painting was damaged and overpainted. It was so dramatically altered that it was mistaken for a copy and sold for a mere 45 pounds in 1958. It wasn't until 2005 that a consortium of art dealers recognized its potential and purchased it. After an extensive restoration and research process, many experts declared it a genuine da Vinci. However, this declaration ignited a worldwide controversy. Some experts refused to accept its authenticity, casting doubts and stirring debates in the art world. Despite the controversy, the painting continued its journey, attracting the attention of the world's elite. In 2017, the Salvador Mundi was sold at Christie's Auction House for a staggering $450 million, making it the most expensive painting ever sold. The auction was a spectacle in itself, a testament to the allure and enigma of this masterpiece. But how did this long-lost painting reach its record-breaking auction price? This question leads us to the next chapter of our journey, where we delve into the art of the auction and the impact of this painting on the world. The journey to the auction block is a story unto itself. The Salvador Mundi, a long-lost masterpiece, resurfaced only to become the subject of a fascinating tale of rediscovery and authentication. This process was no easy feat. Art historians and experts spent countless hours examining the painting, comparing it to Leonardo da Vinci's other works, and using advanced technology to authenticate it. The result? A unanimous agreement that the painting was indeed an original da Vinci, catapulting its value to astronomical heights. Once authenticated, the Salvador Mundi was ready for the auction block. But how do you market such a priceless piece of art? Enter the art of the auction, a blend of strategy, psychology, and showmanship. The painting was promoted as The Last Da Vinci, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to own a piece of art history. This clever marketing strategy played a crucial role in sparking global interest and driving the painting's price skyward. Finally, the day of the auction arrived, 
The room was filled with both anticipation and tension as the opening bid was announced. What followed was a fierce bidding war, with each bid increasing the price by millions. The painting's value escalated at a dizzying pace, leaving the crowd in awe. After 19 minutes of intense bidding, the hammer finally fell, declaring the Salvador Mundi sold for an unprecedented $450 million. The room erupted in applause, the sound echoing the significance of the moment. However, it's not just about the money. The sale of the Salvador Mundi was more than just an auction. It was a demonstration of the power and influence of art. It showed that art could transcend time, touch souls, and command staggering prices. The Salvador Mundi's sale created waves in the art world, but why? The answer lies in the painting's journey from obscurity to the auction block. A journey that captured the world's imagination and set a new benchmark for the value of art. The Salvador Mundi's sale changed the art world forever. It shook the foundations of what we thought we knew about the value of art, redefining the parameters of what a single piece of art could be worth. The painting, attributed to the great master Leonardo da Vinci, sold for a staggering $450 million, making it the most expensive painting ever sold at auction. This sale didn't just break records, it shattered them. But the ripple effects of this sale extended far beyond the auction house. It sent a shockwave through the global art market, sparking a renewed interest in old master paintings and causing a surge in their prices. Galleries and auction houses across the world saw an influx of buyers seeking their own piece of artistic history, hoping to discover the next Salvador Mundi. Yet the sale of the Salvador Mundi also raised questions, questions about the authenticity of the painting and the value we place on art. Is a painting truly worth $450 million? And how can we be certain that it was indeed created by da Vinci? These questions sparked heated debates among art historians, critics, and enthusiasts alike. In the end though, the painting's sale underscored the power of art, its ability to captivate, to inspire, and to generate awe. It reminded us that art is more than just a commodity. It's a testament to human creativity and ingenuity. It's a piece of our shared history, a window into the past, and it's a reflection of our values, our aspirations, and our collective imagination. The Salvador Mundi story is a testament to the enduring allure of great art. It's a story of mystery and intrigue, of record-breaking sales and heated debates. But above all, it's a story about the transformative power of art and its enduring impact on our world. So what does the Salvador Mundi story tell us about art and its value? In the grand tale of the Salvador Mundi, we find a narrative that is as rich and multifaceted as the artwork itself. From its inception in the hands of the legendary Leonardo da Vinci, to its re-emergence and record-setting auction sale, the Salvador Mundi has taken us on an incredible journey. This masterpiece, once lost to the annals of history, only to resurface and shatter all expectations, tells a tale of rediscovery and reaffirmation. Its tale is a reminder that art is not merely a commodity to be traded, but a legacy to be treasured. The Salvador Mundi's record-breaking sale at auction was not just about the price tag. It was a testament to the enduring allure of great art and the lengths to which we as a society are willing to go to possess it. It's a reflection of our deep-seated appreciation for beauty, skill, and the ability to capture a moment, an emotion, or a thought in a way that transcends time. But the Salvador Mundi is not just about the art world and the value we place on art. It's also about the mysteries that art can hold, and the stories that can unfold from a single piece. The painting's journey, from obscurity to the spotlight, its disputed authenticity, and its eventual recognition as a work of one of the greatest artists of all time, all contribute to its allure. The legacy of the Salvador Mundi, therefore, is not just in its record-breaking price or its disputed origins. It's in the conversation it has sparked, the passion it has ignited, and the way it has made us reflect on the true value of art. In the end, the Salvador Mundi is more than just a painting, it's a symbol of the enduring power and value of art.